Good morning. How are we all on this lovely Sunday morning? Good morning. Oh God, I can hear myself. Hang on. Turn that down. Get my glasses. Tina, good morning, Sal. How are you, darling? Hey, Kylie. Clean my glasses. I have to apologise. My internet seems to be a little bit sketchy this morning. Um, and... Sorry. Um, I think everybody is all on the internet at the same time in my little suburb and consequently it's it might be a little bit um, sketchy but the good thing is is if you go back and watch it a little later it should all be all in one piece um morning Tammy morning Rosie Heather all right I'm not going to say good morning to everybody who clicks in because nobody needs to listen to that um so this morning um, I didn't jump on and do my, my live Facebook because I've got the biggest pimple on my chin um, and I have a slightly cloudy head after a couple of glasses of wine last night. So um, I'll quickly tell you about today's special and uh, today's Sunday special is Scrap Effects products. So Scrap Effects products are this, this beautiful collage paper and uh, what else are Scrap Effects products? They have got these amazing cutouts as well. Um, they have got these, whoops, fabulous, fabulous embellishments for your art journal pages. Um, today I'm going to be using their rice paper, but there's also transparencies, there are foam stamps, there's all sorts of goodies available, as well as a little bit of chipboard, um, and they are all 15% off today only. Awesome. Um, as well as the other things I've got on special, and I have a, um, a show special tab on the website, nataliemay.com.au, and you'll be able to find everything there. Um, so the special will finish to tonight um, and I'm going to start packing orders after my live Facebook this afternoon so um, Lindy's products are still on special as well as um, all of the things um, I'm not going to waffle on anymore because you've heard me all weekend go on good afternoon Sharon good afternoon in New Zealand of course for those of you tuning in from across the ditch um, all right, so what I love about Scrap Effects products is they are designed by local Australians, um, so Australian company, and let's support Australians. So this is the little junk journal that they do, one of the two junk journals. I've made a bit of a start on it here, and I think this is a fantastic idea. So I've actually taken one of the rice, uh, rice papers, the collage papers, and used gel medium to stick it on the front cover. Inside my journal here, I've used their products. So this is one of the black die cuts that goes over there. And these pages, because this is a junk journal, this has got, they've got some beautiful die cuts. So you can see down in this bottom corner where it's cut out. And then we get into all of these other little elements as well. So there's tags. There's these pages in here that you can cover. So there's some street directory. Here's another die cut page. So I have a couple of these available online. It's got some transparency sheets in here as well. I've done a couple of other pages in it. Um, this is on a graph paper. Uh, it's got some envelopes in here as well. So there's lots and lots of different elements to this book that you can play with and have a build on. As I'm creating with it, I use some washi tape to join the pages. 
but it also comes with some thread to um, tie it all together when it's done. So these are available online and also 15% off today only. So what am I going to do today? Um, your guess is as good as mine, but I wanted to use these gorgeous little houses. So this is some of the rice paper designed by the super awesomely talented Michelle Logan. And I'm going to use these across the bottom of my page, but I'm going to, before I do that, I thought I'd use Magicals in my art journal to show you that you can also use Magicals, of course, as well. So, ah, uh, good morning, Jessica May. I see that you are watching um, clearly from bed, young lady. Get your ass out of bed and start your day, please. Sorry, parenting at its best, ladies and gentlemen. Because um, <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the only one that does that. Okay, so I've got some, I've pre-gessoed my page. So this is just my little Dilusions journal and the, I'm working on my glass mat. Um, the little bit of journal papers, what I need to do is I, because I'm going to be adding water, I need to pre-gesso my page. I need to seal my page because I'm going to be at the paper is sealed. So it's not going to be super absorbent and soak all the way through. So I'm going to crack out the magic, uh, flat magicals again, the new mountain meadows because I just can't get enough of them. And I'm looking at these papers here and I wanna pick up some of these pinks uh, and a little bit of this green and there's some really subtle spots of teal in here as well. So they're the colors that I want to concentrate on creating with today. So if I pull all of these out and I'm gonna pop a little in my palette. I should have actually saved the colours that I did yesterday, let's be honest, but you know, but we didn't. So I'm going to be using this kind of like a watercolour. So, uh, of course, the Lindy's Magicals are a pigment dye based powder. So the pigment means they're full of colour. The dye means that it is a permanent, uh, it has a permanency to it and a stain. And the powder means that we need to activate it to get the magic to happen. So what that means is the permanence is, is great. It's not going to reactivate. It's going to stain your page and it is fantastic. So it's not a watercolour powder and that is so important to remember. So this is not like all of the other watercolour powders on the market. This is that everybody has tried to duplicate. So as you can see, I am putting like a, a super small freckle amount in here not very much at all because I don't need much on my little art journal page so I'm being just a little bit frugal all right let's get those babies out the way and pop those aside so I want to add a little bit of water to it now. So I've got a pipette and I'm just going to drop in a small amount of water. I'm not going to go over the top. No need for that. So I could also mix this with white paint. I could mix it with gesso. I could mix it with gel medium. I could mix it with um, all sorts of different elements to create a... A, like activate that powder so all right so what I'm going to do for those of you who are watching on a device um, if you have got comments coming across the bottom of your screen and you want to be able to see what I'm doing just swipe across and they will disappear um, I'm gonna work like this so I've got the most of my page here my journal is as you can see it's quite thick and quite bendy so I'm going to be working, uh, to make sure that the water doesn't drip around my page, I need to be working pretty fluently, fluidly, and with a heat gun handy and some paper towel handy. So what I wanna do is I know that I wanna put these lovely little houses, these little scrap effects houses 
across the bottom here. So I don't want to put too much colour across the bottom, but I want to start building up a little bit of a background. So before I start, I just want to do a quick swatch of my colours and make sure that they are exactly what I want. Um, and make sure that they, or let's have a look and see how pigmented they are. So they're not too strong. They're actually quite light. And that's what I like about these is the fact that I can choose how strong they are and how, um, how pigmented they are. Um, Kerri ann I've just seen your message, darling, and I just can't respond to it at the moment. Sorry. So I'll have to get onto that when I get off camera. Um, okay. So that's the lovely green and the blue. Yep. Gorgeous. So now that I can see those colors in front of me, I know exactly what I am working with. And that's really important. Um, because once I put it on there, I guess I've got to kind of commit to it. So um, I'm going to start with this this green and start putting down a bit of a base. And I because it's sitting on gesso, it's kind of pooling and that's fine. That's exactly what I'm wanting and what I'm after. And I'm going to do this in a couple of different spots around my page and I'm going to heat set it. So that the next colour that I put on doesn't bleed too much into that and I don't want to make a whole series of, of browns and it won't take long to dry because it's not super duper thick so now while I'm doing that with one hand I'm going to get a little bit of green on with the other hand just like that So I hope everybody's had a wonder watching some amazing um, live Facebooks. I know that there's quite a few going on this at the moment. Um, currently on on her personal channel, Vicky Booten is currently live playing with Distress Inks and Oxides. So um, I just watched Vicky for a couple of minutes and I could just watch her for hours. I think that she's just an amazing creative and, and just so very, very clever. Um, so yeah, I was just watching Vicky and uh, so yeah, if you, you can always go back and watch any of these live Facebooks and that's what I really, really like about this platform is that you can go back and watch them. They're going to be on my feed and you can go back and watch it anytime. So if you think, oh, I didn't catch the one that Natalie did on Thursday, that's okay. You can go back and watch it later. So um so you can see what I'm doing here. Just off screen, I've got some water. So I just keep dumping my paintbrush into some water and I'm watching how it's puddling as well because I really want to watch where all of this new color here is that I'm creating. And I'm leaving a little bit of white space. It doesn't have to be completely and totally covered. And I'm going to dry this side off completely before I start working on the other side just so I can control where the runs are going to go. And that's a little bit darker here than I would like it to be. So the way that I lighten that up is with my paintbrush and I spread it around. And you can see that it's sitting on top of the gesso. So if, like I said before, if this didn't have a coat of gesso on it, it would soak right in and the paper would be um, stained and not at all as impressive. Well, it won't look as good as it does like this. Um, the other really cool thing, cool thing about this is that it creates a white, the wet, gesso creates a white background. Whereas a lot of these art journals, the papers are ivory. So I really quite like that it's it changes it to white so I'm pretty happy with the way this is looking and now I'm going to completely dry it off 
Now, somebody asked me yesterday about my heat tool. I don't have any in stock at the moment and I probably won't be getting them in for a little bit, um, but I do have the Australian brand available, um, which are the Couture Creations heat tool. So they are available under tools on the website and you can purchase them there if you are after them. Um, now, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just going to get all the extra little wet bits off it just to make sure that that's totally got all the puddle off. Just rolling over my paint and uh, my paper towel. And I'm going to start laying out my art journal page. I'm going to come back to these guys. I'm just going to pop them out of the way so that I don't wear them. And what I like about these is they have a transparency to them. So they're not totally transparent, but they are on a sheer paper. So what that means is it's going to, they're going to be really easy to cut out and they go on your journal nice and light. Um, so... These little sheets, and I have quite a few different ones available on the in the shop. Um, they are $3 each normally, but because they're 15% off today, that takes them down quite significantly to about, I don't do maths, but from memory, it's about $2.55 each, like $2.55, like bugger all. All right. No, we've already used that one. We can get rid of that one. Hang on. Um, 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 um. Let's go with that one. All right. So I know that I want to lay them across like that. I've just cut them out loosely. So I'll pop them aside. I want to pop a little bit of stamping in the background, I think. Um, I'm going to use my Buds of May stamp. And I'm going to use my favourite one, which is this guy. Pop that on there. So when you um, purchase one of my stamps, you'll know that they're in a big solid red rubber piece. Um, this is how close I cut them out. I go right in super close to the image. Okay. Uh, next thing I want to do is I need to grab a grey ink because I forgot. Hang on a minute. Actually changed my mind. I'm going to go with speckled egg because speckled egg is um, much lighter and I think that'll look a little bit better. Um, so I'm just going to get my, oh, this is the new Tim Holtz colour. Um, I'm just going to get that on there and I'm going to, oh, okay. There's my little moment of going, hell yeah. Nice and light and I really, really love that. So um, I still have quite a few of the speckled egg left in stock. For those of you who are still wanting to get some Distress inks or oxides, I still have them on special at 15% off. So jump online and grab those today and um, or add them to your existing order and I will post them out. Um, so the new color, and I did hear a rumor that he's just releasing, or he's about to do his next one. So I'm gonna jump online probably tonight or this afternoon, or whenevs, and have a bit of a squeeze and work out what's going on with that. Oh, I love that. That's worked out so much better than I thought, and that's the perfect color combination. I'll bring it up to camera to show you. And wiping off my lovely red rubber. So this is the speckled egg. Lovely. So they are down to eight bucks each. 
so you can see how lovely and soft that is. I haven't gone all the way to the bottom because I know I'm going to stick my houses there. And now I need to dry that off again. So unfortunately today you guys get to watch me dry paint and dry different elements. Actually, you know what, rather than drying that, I'm gonna pop that aside and cut out these guys a little better so that I can stick them onto my page. Um, so while I'm doing this, um, so some of the other little bits and pieces I've got on special are, I mean, I'm not going to go on about it. You guys can see. But yeah, it's um, the opportunity to have a bit of a stock up. Um, I do know that there is a box of goodies due in tomorrow, which will include, drum roll please, the new Dina Wakeley gloss sprays. They are due in tomorrow. So fingers crossed they actually arrive, um, but you will not be able to add those to an existing order, unfortunately, due to weight restrictions for postage. And um, I am sucking up all the postage costs this weekend with everybody's um, putting all their orders together. But unfortunately with the gloss sprays, I won't be able to do that. Um, and I hope you all understand. I'm not made of money, you know how it goes. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'll be doing that. Getting everybody, getting contact with everybody later this week as soon as I get all of those unpacked. Um, so for those of you who have ordered over the weekend, thank you so very much. You will have to have just a little bit of patience while I get everybody's orders together and post them out. I will be doing that this afternoon. And after lunch, um, I will, which actually, who am I kidding? It's nearly lunchtime now. Uh, slightly, oh, after my last demo. Um, and then you will be able to, and then I will be cutting that off and um, starting to pack orders. So I have got a table full of orders here that I need to work on packing. That's going to take me a little while. So if you order tonight, I won't be able to add it. Um, all right, so while I'm doing this, there's nothing much else going on this week. How's everybody else? Have we got big plans for the week? Anything else happening? Good morning, Charm. How are you, darling? Good, good, good. Um, I don't have much planned, actually. It's um, got to lose some of those greys. Had to reschedule my appointment for tomorrow because it looks like I'm still going to be packing orders. Um, but... Yeah, just gonna be going to be fluffing around and oh, you know what I've got this week that's really exciting? A freaking root canal. Yeah. Loving the idea of that. Said no one ever. I talk about how much I freaking hate you guys. Um, because yeah. A root canal is everybody's favourite way to spend a thousand bucks, isn't it? Or whatever it is. Um, not loving that idea at all. Yeah. I've actually got to have a few root canals um, previous. And consequently, I grind my teeth. Yes, I grind my teeth a bit. So um, that's why... It's, it's been, um, yeah, needs a bit of work. But anyway, moving on. It's just one of those things that you just got to put your big girl knickers on and, and get it done. Um, all right. So cutting off this last one. So I'm loving the way that the magicals have dried up on this page. They are looking pretty damn good. Um, so before I do anything else, I just want to make sure that all of this is dry because the oxides have got that, um, that water base to it. They are still just a little bit wet, so they do need to be dried off. I don't want to smudge this lovely image here. Alright, 
what else can I add to this? Let me think. Right, that'll do. So, um, let's lay out some of these houses. I like that one. I like that one. I like all of them. I like that one. That was a bigger one. I need it in there for balance, so I might even do like half a house. I might pop that one there. Awesome. So what do we stick these down with? That is the question. I'm going to be using gel medium to stick these down with. So I'm going to be using the Chromacool gel medium. You could use any... Shit, Viz. Shit, sorry. Hang on. Um... Uh, you can use any sort of gel medium, but this is the one that I like to use because it has the body to it that I like um, and it spreads beautifully. So I'm going to start on this side and I don't want to put it straight onto here in case my page is not 100% dry. So I'm going to do it in my hand, um, but I've got to make sure that it is completely covered edge to edge like so whack that down and do the same thing again so for those of you who don't know um, look up Michelle Logan she is creative um, Michelle has been working uh, at well creating in the Australian paper craft industry industry for quite a while um i won't say she's a relic like me but um she's absolutely amazing she has a very very creative eye and a knack for working and seeing things outside of the norm and that is what i love about her work so um, her eye for colour is absolutely outstanding and I love that Scrap Effects have um, taken her on as a designer. She's also designed some um, stamps and she's uh, the, the, the graffiti peeps, I think they're called, and the um, done some lovely drawings as well uh, that has, she's turned in um, this rice paper. So... Pop that one there. Now this one is working on the um, in the spine, so I'm just making sure that I'm running my finger in that spine and pushing it in like that. I need that one here. So this is the tall skinny one. I want that one here because my um, stamping is a little more than that one. All right, that'll work. So gel medium um, is, like I've said, is a excellent adhesive. I go through bucket loads of it. And um, there are a few different brands that I have available in the store. The Chromacool is a lovely little tub, um, good little size to have on your desk. And there is also the Dina, Dina Wakely Ultra Thick, which is a very, very similar product. Um, and it is also very good and what I like about it is it, it you can stick down anything light such as um, these collage papers these uh, like the Tim Holtz tissue paper the scrap effects paper or you could stick down heavier items such as the uh, like chipboard or tags or patterned paper um, the ultra thick and the chromacool, which are the two that I use, uh, you can also stick down flowers as well onto your projects and metal embellishments because they have that body to them. They will hold heavier elements. So 
So and I'll just stick down this last one. Now with this last one, I know that it's only going to be half a house. Do I want to do half a house? Or do I want to do a little house? Let's go for a little house. Sorry, I've just got my paintbrush in my mouth, as you do. <laughs> I had um, I had a um, a very lovely, lovely customer message me yesterday. It made my day, saying, "Oh my God, Natalie, your lives are so much more entertaining than some of the others I've been watching." Apparently, she'd watched one that was a little bit um. Uh, not as not as entertaining and um, as mine and I kind of apologized and went yeah well unfortunately with me you get warts and all swearing the whole bloody lot so um, this is how I teach face to face um, the difference with me doing it live here on Facebook is that you can go back and watch it number one and I'm wearing a flannelette shirt for goodness sake um, and no makeup and bad hair, etc. etc. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. That's coming up quite nice. So you can see how they're all stuck down. Thanks. So you can see how I've kind of created that little forest behind the uh, behind the houses. So they are drying out quite nicely. Okay, so I've got no idea what I'm going to do next. Um, I have got some stitched rice paper. I could do like a stitched border. Nah. Um, <laughs> these are these are the um, graffiti peeps that Michelle has designed. So she's hand drawn these and then there's lots of little elements in the background as well. Um, I can stick some of these guys on. Um, they do some, I've got some mini peeps in stock as well. No, mum, 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 mum. no look, I'm not gonna do that. I might just, I might just do a little doodling. Love me a little bit of doodling. Oh, a little bit of stenciling. Here we go. Okay, a little bit of stenciling. What have I... I've got my blending tool. Here's a clean... See, that never happens. The fact that I actually found a clean sponge. All right. Um, yesterday afternoon, I don't know if you missed it or not, I added a new tab to the website called Weekend Special. Um, I found some of these blending tools and refills in a box. Uh, I suggest that you jump on and have a bit of a look because I, we, Jessica and I marked them right down. <laughs> I didn't know uh, that they weren't online yet, so now they are. So they are on special. So I'm going to crack out the speckled egg again. This is such a pretty colour. And I'm going to use my Mark Maker stencil. And I'm going to put a little bit of a border across the top here. I don't want some of these little crosses over the top of the blues mostly. That's all that I have designed. Um, and I'm just going lightly because I don't want it too strong. Oh, Jessica's out of bed. And dressed heaven forbid um, pop a little over there not too much and pop that around the page and I am liking that so I'm sorry that you get a bit it's dropping in and out again guys um, being the interweb is a fabulous thing at the moment all right just to finish off I'm going to be adding some doodling so I'm going to use a super fine pen the reason I'm using a, a Pilot fine pen is because my drawings on here, the lines on your, your paper are also quite light and thin. So Pilot G207 it's called and that is a, 
a great little um, pen that is really lovely and thin. So I need to I need to make these little images now look adding a little bit more doodling around the edges and I'm incorporating them into my page a little bit more with my hand rather than just using the um, images that are here which is great I want to make it look like I have drawn them so I'm going to zoom up a little bit with the camera Um, Charm, sorry, I just saw your comment. No, this is the small one. These are the small houses. Is that the question that you just asked? Sorry, my freaking internet keeps freezing. Bloody hell. Um, many houses, so... Oh, my God, I've got stuff everywhere here. This is ridiculous. Oh, the sponges. Oh, sorry, um... No, the sponge that I just used then, that was the standard size. The little mini ones are exactly like half the size. They would be awesome for getting into small areas, but um, I, and I won't demo with it because that would involve me opening a packet and I just don't want to take one off the shelf when you guys might want it. Um, so yes, it is a... Um, they're, they're a nice little, oh shit, um, a nice little sponge, those ones. Um, I always recommend grabbing the refills when they are in stock because you don't know how many you're going to go through. And if, it is, if it's within your budget, grab them. All right. So same thing, I'm just going to loosely draw around the corner. Um, a couple of people have commented over the last couple of days about my doodling. Um, I it, The secret to doodling, for me, is a loose hand. I don't try and make it perfect. Nothing I do is about being perfect. Oh, shit, that was still wet. Um, because it is about, you know, I'm creating for me. I'm not creating to impress you. I'm creating for my own personal outlet. So if mine's not perfect, I'm okay with that. Um, and I think that as soon as I started, as soon as I stopped making things perfect in my eyes, that is when I started liking what I was doing more. Does that make sense? Um, I have no qualms about seeing a picture on Pinterest and then going, right, I'm going to use that as a base to start with and start create and, you know, and, and work from there. Inspiration is everywhere. I do these live Facebooks for you so that you are inspired to create something yourself. Even if you duplicate what I'm doing, um, even if you want to do that, then that's fantastic. It's not going to be the same as mine because I created this one. Um, but the whole idea is, is for you to create something that you love. And I think that that's why most of us who, who publicly put our work out there, we, we share it. It's because we, we want to inspire you and give you some idea. And I think that that's really important. Um, okay, so I'm on the right track here. This is looking this is looking pretty good. Um, I need to add some words and a title. Uh, uh, sorry, some a phrase or something. So um, I have got some of my little word stamps here from my set. We all make choices. Um, so I'm going to go with. So these ones, when you read them out, say. When you stamp them we all make choices live more worry less um, change your thoughts and you'll change the world keep life simple old ways won't open new doors um, be in love with your life trust the timing of your life kind words cost nothing so that's what these little stamps say so i'm going to pick out this one
change the world, change your thoughts and you will change the, actually no, I've got doors on here, sorry. Old ways won't open new doors. So I need to use my black archival ink. So, oh, this is the jumbo pad. Um, I use the jumbo pad because it's the one I can always find on my desk. Oh, look how dirty that is, sorry. That's from stamping all of your thank you notes. So if you, if you do an order and I put a, um, I do a little handwritten thank you note, every single thank you note is handwritten by me and it's a piece of my artwork. So when I do it with the Lindy's Magicals or Sprays and then stamp, I've got a little bit of the mica powder so I haven't cleaned it. Um, okay, before I do anything else, I need to test that stamp to make sure that it is stamping good and I'm up the right way. Yes! And I'm going to do that on my page. And I'm going to do that in a couple of spots on my page. And I'm going to off stamp so that is shadowed because I really love how that works. I like that, that shadowed look. And I need to pop some on this side as well. So that, that shadowing stamping is really bringing that across with my journaling. Um, okay, I'm just going to zoom out. Bear with me a second. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, okay. So you can see how they're off stamping. Looks. Alrighty, and I'm going to pop some up here. All right, guys, so I'm gonna take a photo of this and pop it up with the links to the products that I used. Um, I am popping back this afternoon at 1.30 Adelaide time to do my last live Facebook of the weekend and um, yeah, and, and do something else. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do. I was gonna demonstrate with Distress Oxides. Um, I may still do that. Uh, I might do a couple of tags with some stencils and oxides. Um, but yeah, just have a fantastic day. Thank you again for your support. Um, your jump online, nataliemay.com.au. In the sidebar, you'll find all of the specials for the weekend, um, including today's special, which is 15% off of Scrap FX products. So that's fantastic for you because they start at a very tiny little $2.55. Um, so you can add them to your order you just need to select hold instead of shipping. You still need to process your order and put it through and pay for it. But it means that I'm just going to put it with your other order and you won't have to pay shipping twice. So um, have a fabulous day and I look forward to seeing you in a couple of hours when I pop back uh, 2 p.m. Australian Eastern and I'll do some blending techniques, I think, with um, some speckled egg. I reckon that will be the go. All right, guys. Love you later. Wash your hands. Kiss your kids.